Major air pollutants are released by the vehicles including bus, car, trains and airplane airplanes. If improper or incomplete combustion, combustion of fuel release carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides which are released by both natural and man-made processes. Then agricultural activities, use of in the in insecticides, pesticides and fertilizers. In agriculture activities have increased in the modern days. So they emit harmful chemicals such as ammonia into the air for the air pollution and mining. Extraction of minerals from the earth is called mining. This process is released dust and chemicals into the air, causing massive air pollution. Then household activities. Air pollutant is the through household activities also by cleaning the cleaning and painting. We use lot of chemicals. These chemicals pollute the environment. Then effects of air pollution. Air pollution affects all living organisms, including man. It causes serious health problems to human beings and affects both plants and animals also. It brings about lot of changes in the climate and environment also. Environment also. This is air pollution causes several respiratory and heart problems. Many people have died due to air pollution. So global warming. Next one, global warming. Air pollution results in the accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. When the gas like carbon dioxide are present in the atmosphere, in larger amount they increase the atmospheric temperature. With increased temperature, melting of ice and icebergs in polar region and increases in sea levels are taking place. Next one, acid rain. As we see, as we saw earlier, harmful gases like nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides are released into the atmosphere while burning fossil fuels. When it rains, the water droplets combine with these gases and fall on the ground in the form of acid. Acid gel. Acid gel affects human, animals, and crops. Depletion of ozone. Ozone layer. That is, ozone molecules are present in the earth. So, stratosphere and they are responsible for protecting humans and from harmful ultraviolet rays, that is, UV rays. Chlorofluorocarbons release into the atmosphere by human activities deplete the ozone layer. As the ozone layer is depleted, UV rays reach the earth and they cause skin and eye related problems. Then marine life, that is large amount of nitrogen presence in the sun, fertilizes this vast into the water bodies. They cause the sort of green algae in the seas. Then effect of wildlife. This also affects wildlife or wildlife. So harmful substances present in the air affect wildlife. Wild animals move to the new places when the air is polluted, when the air habitat is when their habitat is changed by phase extin extinction. Then prevention of air pollution. Uh, some air pollution are given. Major pollutant which comes from air pollution come from automobiles. Using public modes of transport can reduce the rate of pollution. Then by reducing the usage of fossil fuels by burning, we can save the environment. Uh, then we need to reduce our usage. We can reuse or recycle few items uh, like plastics like this. Switch off fans and lights when you are not using them. These are the prevention of air pollution. The airborne diseases. This is caused by bacteria. Then bacteria, whooping cough, and tuberculosis are some of the common airborne diseases caused by bacteria. Okay. Diseases and organisms made of trans transmissions. Then affected. Organ affected, which organ is affected? Symptoms are given. Then diseases caused by virus. Some diseases are caused by the virus present in the air. Common cold, influenza, measles, mumps, and chicken box, like this. Common cold. Common cold is an in in infection disease which affected the upper respiratory system like nose and throat and it's easily spread. And then Influenza is a commonly found during childhood. It causes by virus and mumps. It's 
caused by mysovirus products products and its effect on the upper respiratory tract tract some of the common symptoms of mumps include fever headache like this and chick and chicken pox it is a common among children but adults also may get it affected people will have blisters or spots in the body and face along with fever then measles it's caused by the rubella virus and it's easily caught uh, catch by people from the other infected people so the symptoms of measles are given